So I, I will just go very quickly through this um, and uh, an update for the people who already know what I'm talking about and maybe something new for the people who it's the first time um, that heard about the, the work we have been conducting in the last years. So um, the global crop conservation strategies, they are basically an assessment of the current uh, status for the conservation of a specific uh, crop and its uh, crop wild relatives. Uh, they uh, generally have an emphasis on ex situ conservation, but uh, some of them have also section on in situ conservation. And uh, they respond to the need of also um, synthesizing information that is scattered across a lot of different places, uh, make sense of this information, and then uh, identify uh, priority for actions and, and making recommendations. Uh, the idea is that this could help uh, um, increase the efficiency of the global uh, conservation system for these crops and uh, achieve better coordination among the different uh, stakeholders in this system. Between 2006 and 2019, a number of uh, global crop conservation strategies were facilitated. Uh, many of these uh, were facilitated by the Global Crop Diversity Trust, but not all of of them, and uh, uh, you have here uh, the list of the strategies. Um, the Crop Trust has started working on, uh, on, on, on the strategies since the very beginning of its creation in 2004, as is considered uh, an important way to identify uh, uh, key gene banks uh, for, uh, for future work and for, uh, for funding. So uh, this is the, we could call it a first big batch of, uh, of, of strategies. Um, and uh, a second batch was produced in the last uh, four years. Uh, as part of, uh, of this project that was funded by the uh, German uh, Federal Ministry of Food and Agriculture, uh, which um, as an output as um, 10 new uh, strategies, so crops that were not covered uh, on, the, on the list that you have just have seen, and uh, five updates, so strategies that uh, were produced quite a while ago and uh, they were considered to, to be in need of, a, of an update. And we conducted this work in close cooperation with the, uh, inter, uh, with the plant treaty. So you can see here the list of the, of the strategies produced uh, as part of uh, this project. Uh, they are all available on, on the Crop Trust uh, website on the, on the relevant page. In the last year, you see in the last row, uh, the one that came out most recently are the peace strategy, the brassica, the uh, full update of the uh, vinya uh, strategy, which now includes also Asian vineyards. And, uh, uh, the citrus uh, conservation strategies and uh, the last one, the uh, sunflower conservation strategy. And the key questions that uh, this document uh, look at answering are what is currently conserved ex situ, where, uh, and what is not uh, conserved that should be conserved, so where are the gaps? How well is uh, the material conserved and uh, the related information uh, recorded? Um, and what material is, uh, so to what extent is this material available to users? And uh, what are the priorities to improve the current system? In terms of, uh, so this, this uh, new batch of strategies um, had the advantage of also now having uh, the possibility to look at all this new information that is available. Uh, so there are all these uh, new studies that came out uh, looking at the population uh, structure of different crops and uh, I think uh, the talk on, uh, on rice uh, make a good example of how much uh, data is coming out uh, in the last decades. And, uh, and so we have uh, the use of new molecular markers and bigger samples. Uh, that, uh, and all this information um, uh, is, is very useful when, when we draft the strategies. So we, have, uh, we look at that uh, and we use some of that for the background section and we use some of that for the gap analysis. We also have all the information that was generated for uh, different gap analysis for the crop wide relatives uh, project and, and the, 
Yapan Analyze of Laundry is, uh, was conducted as part of the GMAN platform, and we try to integrate all this information that is new in, the, in this new uh, global crop conservation strategies. So we think uh, a lot of uh, value added came from a lot of different projects, and, uh, and we try to integrate that. And then there is much more information that available on global database as compared to uh, 10 years ago, for example. So data available on views and Genesis is now uh, really uh, useful. Uh, and uh, we, we integrate the, the gaps that are in this database with a survey that we send to the gene banks. And that also helps a lot to, to fill some of the crucial information that is still not available there. We uh, also had a bit of self-reflection on all the process, uh, what are the strengths and the weaknesses of the current process of developing these uh, conservation strategies. And we commissioned uh, a paper uh, after, after conducting two meetings with experts and discussing uh, this topic. Uh, and the, the results of this discussion are published in this paper that you can see here. Uh, and uh, um, you're welcome to have a look and this the, the main recommendations that came out from this paper uh, look at the implementation of the strategy this is one of the main criticisms uh, sometimes not uh, the recommendations and the priority in these strategies they're not uh, followed up in terms of actually implementing them and uh, and there's some um, suggestion on looking and explore different way to incentivize uh, implementation and looking at also different models of um, governance and ownership of the process of developing and implementing the strategies. But there's also some recommendation on increasing the awareness of the strategies. And so based on that, um, we pitched a new project based on this, critic this constru constructive criticism and uh, to try to address some of this point. And uh, so we, we started this project uh, recently that was uh, as well funded by the German government. And the main activities are uh, to identify key entry points. Uh, actually, let me do a step back. The, the project is mainly about mainstreaming the global crop conservation strategies into the uh, plant treaty processes so that uh, we um, achieve uh, a bit more impact as well. Uh, and, and we find also uh, ways that uh, can increase their uh, implementations. And so the key activities of this uh, new project are identify key entry points uh, for the strategy, strategies in um, the plant treaty processes, disseminate the information uh, about them in the, the relevant plant treaty fora, and conduct consultations on different models of leadership, governance, and ownership of the strategies. How we are going with the time? Do I still have time for the last? Yeah? Okay, otherwise I could skip it. Um, so in short, uh, identify key entry points. What, what do we mean for that? Uh, mapping and looking at all the different groups in the plant treaty, you know, their activities, and where uh, the, the information that is in the strategies could be helpful and relevant for them. And now we could establish mechanisms uh, for that to work. So as an example, uh, you can think of the benefit sharing fund. Uh, there could be a mechanism where um, the strategies are acknowledged in the selection process of uh, new projects uh, as, as um, evidence-based documents that uh, the uh, countries uh, they are making proposal could refer to and could align their proposal to the priorities that are in some of these strategies. And so, and, and at the same time, uh, the committee that assessed this proposal could take into account that they are aligned with some of the priorities in the strategies when they assess as part of, of all uh, a general assessment. Uh, that will be one example. And then we'll also, on the other way, help implementing the strategies uh, themselves. We will also develop uh, summaries of the strategies that condense uh, some of the key information and summaries that are tailored to specific stakeholders at the level of the plant treaty and conduct uh, some capacity building and um, create some capacity building material. So to, to wrap up, uh, there are uh, uh, at the moment 43 uh, global crop conservation strategies uh, published. Most of them cover Annex 1 food crops, uh, and uh, uh, work is underway uh, 
to mainstream uh, the global crop conservation strategies in plant treaty processes. Thanks again, uh, and any questions if there's this still time now or after, it's welcome. Thank you.